the law. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit, lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's Unique House. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing. You know, Mandela, well, go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. And when I mean all, I mean all. I mean our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101. We'll pop up first in line. But if you want to see our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. That's where you're going to see all our visuals. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell because that's how you're going to get all of this fire content that we're dishing out every single day. Y'all don't want to miss out on any of this. Let me tell y'all. But if you want to see the information first, all the clips first, all the full interviews first, everything, because some of this stuff don't go out. You got to be a member. And how you become a member is under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section, there's a link that says join our membership. Click that link, follow all the instructions, because y'all be always asking how can we support the brand. That's how you can support the brand. Become a member today. Thank you in advance. Man, listen, man, we got a guy in here today, man, from the Big Apple. It's going down, man. <laughs> the king, man. He in the building, man. De Haven is back in the building, man, on Boss Talk 101, man. What up, baby? I'm in Dallas. Man, Dallas, Texas, man. Stand up. De Haven is Dallas. here, man. Man, Dallas. what's going on, man? Hey, what bring you to town? Man, you just flying around this nah, thing. I told you I was coming out here. <laughs> I owe you one. I owe you one. I enjoyed New York, man. You hey. showed me so much love. Man, Marcy's probably... What you think about Marcy's? Loved it. Loved it. Because you always hear about it, but it's never, you know, experienced it. And you made us felt so Man, at home. so at home, And it was bro. so dope just seeing where you grew up, the house, the apartment. You, Jay-Z, Jay yeah. Grew up. <laughs> oh, that's I right. Mean, we went up in the elevator. Yes. And right. Yeah, yeah. And, and then I went back and looked at some footage where he was talking about it, too. You know what I'm saying? Right. But... I, I wanted to ask you, I had seen, man, were you there when Drake came over there and did that? Nah, nah, nah. nah them dudes, that was, so they just beat. came in and, <laughs> I, I, I'm trying I to was, understand, what the hell was that? Like, hey, like bro, they he, all not, do he it. just nah, doing it for no, what? No, but Jay made that shit like that, man. It, it, it be, you'd be surprised, man. It'd be bus loads of tourists, man, come through there and take pictures with Marcy signs just on the string for that. Like, Marcy's <sighs> iconic now. It's a, it's a landmark thing now. When you think about just the people who came through there, I've seen a few people that do did you know interviews. I mean, videos there, and they they basically want to feel what you guys experienced growing see up. It. No, they want to feel it. Like yeah. they want to see it. They want to <laughs> feel it. They're trying to get as close as they can to connect. It's like a museum. What is the thing that you think if a person's coming there? You, you showed us the roof. I don't know. I ain't seen none of them niggas on the roof, though. <laughs> See, that's the whole game right yeah, there. Well, I was with the with the, with the, yeah. the, the, the king, nigga. <laughs> I was with that guy. Like, I'm on the roof. Like, when you took us up there, like, I tripped out because of the way the scenery was up there. And just, I could feel the vibe of how you guys was up there as youngsters, man. Yeah. And just the whole experience and you showing us. Man, like, like when you go in that building and, and when you go over there, you know all the history. Like, when I go home, I know yeah, the history. You know the history. And, 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 and ain't nobody going to just feel that. Now, I was feeling the vibe because I was with you and you was telling me right. about the girls on you. I think it was we was on fifth, but y'all elevated on six, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Stop on the sixth floor. Yeah. <laughs> so, and you walk up to the roof. Yeah. And you walk up to the roof, right. man. And like, where they played basketball in the hallway, yeah. all of that. And oh, y'all yeah, just months. young, you know, at the end of the day. So, okay, Dave, let's get, let's get into it, man. Like, when you first, you, you, you a young dude, you over in Marcy's, man, you don't really know, you know, what's going to become of who y'all are. You, you At this point, y'all so young, and y'all just basically trying to figure it out. I'm, I've been in the projects as a kid. Was it some days that, like, y'all like, damn, man, like, we broke as hell? Like when y'all were kids, the lights never went off. See, in the project for me, the lights went off in Vegas. I remember nah, that shit. You know why? Y'all niggas Yo, had you know money. Why? Nah, because you shared. You shared. You went next door and you borrowed an egg. You went next door and you said, "Yo, he ain't got no phone." You went over there and said, "Can I use your phone?" You shared. It never felt. You didn't feel poverty. You didn't feel broke. So you shared. You shared. You know what I'm saying. So I can't never say that you can. Uh, I ever felt that we ever felt that kind of thing. You know, because it was. So and I'm talking about you've been in the building. There's 24 families in there. 
We share it. All if bleep moms, family knew if bleep each moms other. don't have the eggs, we go on to this moms. We don't have this one. Don't have a phone. Then when I when I when I took you in there, I wanted to show you that this is going to be your family. See, it's different for y'all because maybe y'all just y'all neighborhood right, right there, that block, this and this. But you living in a building with twenty four families. You shared. You know what I'm saying? It's a possibility if your mom, you was locked out, you had somewhere to go and sleep. So you shared, but so I can never feel like we was hot, we was broke, we was poor or whatever. So when you you go upstairs and you come down, like when y'all would get out to go, y'all walk to school. Y'all didn't catch y'all didn't catch no school. No public transportation. Y'all nah. basically just walked to school. We gonna walk to school. We went, you know, yeah, you zoned into your school like a couple of streets away and that's it. Yeah. Wow, wow. So I think I think what 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 really blew blew my mind was that walk when you come out. And, and where we came out at, and then you make that right, and you go up toward the highway, and you gonna look and see what's going down. That's the hangout. <laughs> yeah. That's the damn hangout. Was it, it, it street lights? Did they go off and come on, or they was always on? Man, the demographics changed in that community. Like you could, you, you would never imagine. Everything I showed you that was not there. You know what I'm saying? We had a grass where we could run around in the grass. We okay. had a, a grass where we could play baseball at and this and that. So all that has changed. So it looked different to you guys. Yeah, was the basketball know. court there then and it all that? It was a better basketball court than it is now. You know what I'm saying? We had a, it was just a circle and, you know what I mean? All of that has changed, man. And that area was predominantly black? Oh, yeah, predominantly black. You because see it was a shock when we went down there and, and you, you showed it. what's living in our neighborhood. Yes. <laughs> but was you a hooper? Oh, definitely. Was Jay a hooper? Yeah, he hooped. He wasn't like you. Like, no, he wasn't like, like you. Yeah, you. I tell people, yo, when it came to sports, you know what it is. So I'm gonna be, yo, I'm picking him first. You gonna be, you know what lineup you gonna be. <laughs> I'm telling you, like I'm that dude. They calling me out the window, yo. You my first pick. Are you coming down? You feel me? And Jay gonna be one of those guys that you mean, like, okay, fourth round pick, fifth round pick. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, oh, they're not he picking playing ball, but he wasn't, you know. He wasn't heavy in the ball like he nah, was he on that on the on the on, nah, on the rap. I was the one that that actually shot up out of nowhere. I started, you know, dunking on the older guys and shit. Like I had that agility and that sportsmanship with me coming up. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And and did you did, when you were young? Did you ever think about like, man, I'm a ball out when I'm in school, or or you were just doing it for the street ball? Nah, I was doing that in the school. I made it through school. I was doing it in the street. You know what I'm saying? Um, I say it in. Um, I, I say it in one of the. Um, you wanted to be an NBA player. That how basketball, yeah, I was, you know how basketball led me to where I'm at. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if I would have stayed focused in school, I would have been. I know I would have went to the NBA. Mm. No doubt. No, I ain't no doubt, bro. Just, you just based on my game and my how my life, how it all worked out, because I ain't go. Once I got in high school, man, I really didn't go, want to go to school no more. My coach was, like, begging me. Like, yo, just show up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, I ain't going to class. He like, just show up. You're going to pass. Mm -hmm. So basketball has gotten me to, you know, throughout, a little, throughout my career. But even that, with my coach really caring about me, sent me to a high school in Jersey where I started hustling. Right, you know, right. That's where Jersey come mm -hmm. in at. But those are all the the the, um, the sequences that I got lined up with. That basketball has shaped me to be where I'm at now. Because I, I use that a tool as part of my blueprint to where every little town and little state that I was hustling in, I, I, I'm going to get in through basketball. Basketball Did like a universal... Like communication with hustlers or some shit. Did you uh, what, bleak like that? Did, did these guys? Ever, did he ever come back or who? What, what you mean? Like like the ones who guys in the in the building? Did they ever like when they made it out? Did it, you Jay? Who else was in that building with y'all? Oh man, we had. Oh man, my building was full of legends. Now, don't yeah, that's what I'm saying. Know, we like had shirt else? kings. Yeah, we had shirt kings. Nike. This dude was doing dope ass. He used to do artwork on T-shirts for LL and all the uh, really yeah for for all of the rappers back then. Um, Who else? Then we had uh, a few hustlers that I looked up to that was big that was big time. You know what I mean? 
Um, we had baseball players, dudes that went to college playing ball, baseball. Like, now nah, we had some decent people in our building that came up, man. I got to ask you, when I seen, because I put it in one of the clips, Rock Boys in the building tonight, who came up with Rock Boys? Oh, man, Rock Who Boys. came up with that? I know, you know, we know about Rockefeller and all that, but who came up with that slang uh, for us, the group of guys that was, you know, that you guys referred to like that? Um, Rock Boys, that that didn't come up into the music actually. Okay, until you okay, heard it. man. We wasn't, we didn't call ourselves. We was just a uh, a family, a crew. You know what okay, I'm it, it it was just me, Jay, my man Panama, and my uncle Buzz. Man, like like none of this would be possible. Like if I sit here and tell you though, know, there would be no Rockefeller without me, right? So none of this, it would be no me without that that sequence of people that been in my life, that them, them us four. You know what I'm saying? We was mm. a crew that put this shit together, that made shit happen. Everybody played a role to my operation to make it successful to where we was able to get to where we wanted to get. Wow. So that that that's the rock boys. Me, Panama, my uncle Buzz and Jay. You know what I'm saying? We we all they all had a position to play in in my operation to make it grow and that's just how it ended up. Wow, and you guys, like I said, it, it, once we talked last time, like all the way up to y'all guys was like 15, 16, y'all was rolling tight from like an early age, what, about fifth grade, fourth grade? Fourth grade. All the way up. <laughs> all the way up. All the way up. All the way up, bro. Ran from the police together. Ran from the police together. You know what it is. They call it from, they call it um, sandbox. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we from the sandbox. And basically, when you look at like like where you guys are now, I'm gonna go into it a little bit. Like where you guys are now versus when you was in that that state, young, you know, mm -hmm. you'd have never seen this coming because from from the fourth grade up to 16, 17, you felt like that unity, that bond, would never stop. With that, just during that time. Oh yeah, nah. You see what I'm saying? Nah, we in the building. We families are, are, are connected. Like our sisters, our mothers. Nah, that bond ain't gonna be broke, bro. And you know, I just like I said, you know, I always wanted a little brother, so that wasn't gonna break. Like, you know, what I mean, once that once me and him got together, it was like that. And 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 you, you could have seen it coming. And and to be honest with you, when you think about just the 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 disconnect and all the trials, because if you're in the streets, you know already that these things can happen. If you you know if you in the streets that. That that the police, all type of shit can go wrong in the streets. You know that. You don't. You don't. You, you don't, know it. But, but you, you don't, don't know. It. Nah. You know, you know you it. Know it. Nah. You don't know it. Nah. You don't know it. You don't think you don't about know it. it. You, you try not to think you about. Hear it. about it, but you don't know it because you're like, nah, that ain't gonna happen to us. So you never prep Jay for like if if something happened or any of the guys that was working with y'all, if something happened, this what we gonna do? This how we gotta respond? Oh, we know that you see by what I'm code. Saying? Nah, yeah, we know that by code. You know what I'm saying? We know that by the ethics of from the be very beginning. That's what we think. You know that, but and we expect everybody to, to honor stick that. To it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's where we. That's when we don't know. Until now, you get we do to know it. on a state level, right? We really do know because it's in and out, in and out. But we don't know on the <laughs> on the different on the federal level on you know those things until you face with it. Like, you know what I mean? But so, let's be real. Like, if you think about Jay, and you know, you and him both know each other. You know this dude. You telling me that you couldn't see nothing in the fact that if anything happened, this guy not going to be there. He not rocking with me. That shit over. Only thing I know is he going to be where he at now. That's what I do know. You knew that then. Because you saw yeah, the greatness in him. I knew that then. Like It was, where else could he be? That's all he knew how to do, you know what I'm saying? To like perfection. Yeah, but when you you that, say you say when he first started, you say you seen paper all over the <laughs> yeah. house. Man, yeah, that's little, that's, put, little trails of paper. Yeah, I'm he talking was, about now. Nah, that's little trails of paper. I'm talking about. I always be the one banging on the table. I'm there. I'm the one banging on the table, bro. So you trying to make sure this this whole thing come 
to fruition. That uh, is, yeah, I'm I'm trying to be a part of this. Like, I'm not not trying to be a part of this because we didn't see the vision of this. Right. You get what I'm saying? This is just something we was doing. Yo, I wrote this. Yo, whoa, you want to hear this? Bang on the table. Bang on the table. And I'm going to play the beat. I'm That's gonna... it. So you telling me that when you when you basically when you think about the fact of how he was rapping and and the game was different then the money wasn't like it is now you couldn't have seen like we just fit to make a lot of bread it had to be just something in your heart you didn't know this shit could blow up to be millions and billions at that time nah. because niggas wasn't getting money like that that's what I said you know yeah they wasn't getting money like that that's that's why I didn't have an interest in it like that it was just there to support. I'm just there to support him. So you just there because y'all boys and y'all just doing it because y'all rock with each other. Just like when you were hustling, he came and rocked with you. Right. But my my question is, okay, because you said you you didn't know unless it became to the Fed level. So, but you didn't get any inclination or as in like, because you know sometimes, yes, your brother, your homeboy with you, but then something happened and you started like, look to your side like, you know that, oh, if something bigger happened, you know, he ain't going to really be there. You didn't get no nah, clues? There was no because clues. Because I've been dealing with state level stuff. Like, and that's not, didn't require investigations. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been in and out of jail, in and out of court, in and out of court, the best lawyer since I've been hustling. So that was the first so you Fed don't case know. was the first Fed first case. First Fed case is, was you know something is different. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, like, you know, you know the difference. Like, if I'm going to go to court on the state level, then it's always been like this. Mm. You know what I mean? When I go there, I'm, my case going to be the first, second case called. We're going to be out of there. Me and my lawyer, my lawyer going to have me out of there. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> but it's just different when you're dealing on a, on a federal level. It's Jay-Z claims that at 16, he was making $2,000 a day. Is this accurate? Yeah, that's, that, yeah, that's true. Easy. 16, $2,000 a day? Come on, man. <laughs> so what do you I say? was doing that shit on my paper route. Newspaper. I ain't even talking about the drug game. I'm talking about a newspaper. I could, uh, How uh, did you do that on the on, on the, the, on the newspaper route? route Let's man. talk about it. I had Myrtle and Nostra in this spot of Nostra. And Myrtle and Nostra in the most busiest spot on a on a, on a Saturday and Sunday uh, selling newspaper. I could take down that same shit two thousand a day. Wow, especially wow. on a Sunday. So you already had all of that in your mind and right. knew exactly how to do certain things. Nah, we on boss talk, right? For yeah. Sure. Nah, well, so I was a boss from the beginning. Yeah. Like, before the hustle, man. Let's get real. Let's let's let me see, explain to you where Jay get this shit from. Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been doing this shit since I was uh, 11, 12, man. You know what I'm saying? Hustling. Hustling. Like no drugs. I'm talking about I'ma have I'm a I'ma run clothes from the cleanest. People want their clothes picked up from the cleanest. I'ma pack bags. I'ma have a newspaper route. I'ma clean up my step pops nightclub. Right, and then it's the mafia. The the, the, the mafia had a spot, a, a club across the street. I'm gonna clean up that. Damn. Yo, I'm gonna make me a band a week. <laughs> 14, 15. I'm Where a, did your drive come from? Who did you see do that and making all that money? Why you Why you felt that at that age that the, you had you to know keep what doing? It is? The what, power yeah. of money. Is that what it Not is? Not saying that my mom's was a a uh, 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 what you call uh, a thot or a right. gold digger. But her choice of men was real. Some hustling niggas that they ain't, I, they ain't they ain't expose it to me and show me this and this and that. But you saw but it. me just being around. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know it was. I have. They have never told me. Nobody she ever brought me around. Uh, told me this is my uncle. You know how your moms would tell you. Oh, this is like your uncle. This and that. Nobody she have never brought me around. Have never told me anything but stay in school. Mm. Wow, you get what I'm saying, and I just was admired. I admired being around them. Like I'm gonna make money, and I ain't, I wasn't buying a bunch of shit. I'm just stashing money as a little kid. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to junior high school. I'm you wasn't this. spending no money on no girls. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. See, I thought <laughs> about the power of money. That's what turned me. That's on. how you got the girls and I always body. had them. I'm not the baddest bitches. I always had them since fifth, third grade, fourth grade. I always had them. So would you say that Jay watched the way you moved to critique his steps at that age? Yeah, well, I mean, you got to. I mean, 
that's human nature. That you're gonna pick up habits, you're gonna pick up everything, you're gonna pick up a lot of shit. Not only pick up, I'm Tom. I'm also teaching you. So when I teach you, when I say, "Yo, bro, listen, you gonna go on this corner, I'm gonna go on this corner," right? This is how this works. I'm teaching you. Take me back to that time when you say that the girl, when you, when, when it was you got he he got out the car to go do something, and the girl said that he was girl jealous. Said he's of a you. jealous ass nigga. Yeah. What? Nah. I, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what was that? What was that day like? Like on the real? Like what would? Y'all was just riding like a normal day. Like a normal day. And I'm just pull over and say, yo, you know what I'm saying? I tell her, you know, can she get, go in the store and get something? I mean, she was just like, you know, tell him. And she was a girl that's always been around y'all. She ain't always been there. She was just one of my chicks. She was, oh, man. She was just one of my chicks and shit. Um, okay. And from the Bronx, thorough chick. Like, mm -hmm. now that I know, that I know that y'all see what y'all see <laughs> that we don't see. You know what I'm saying? Um. It, uh, I asked her to go to the store and she was like, tell him. And I was like, nah, you disrespectful. You know what I mean? If I asked you to do something, don't ask me. And then Jay just was like, man, give me, I, I'll go. Uh, he went to the store and when he got out, she was like, yo, that nigga jealous of you. And I was, I, I didn't see no shit. Like, How could you say that? Don't ever say that. I crack your jaw. That's my little brother. You know what I'm saying? And she didn't explain it. She didn't say she nothing didn't explain else. None of that. I don't know none of that. I'm just looking at the bitch. You first of all, you out of line. You stay out. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I was taught. You you out of line, bitch. You you don't know this. You know what I'm saying? But, but in hindsight, do you think you should have took heed to what she was saying? Hell and no! I was so naive. This is my little brother. <laughs> You could never see that. Nah, you ain't gonna see that. You could bro. never see that. Even if she had explained herself, even if he had said, I "What could, you talking about?" and yeah, she explained herself, like, you bust still this would down know. to me. What? What make? How do? How do you say that? Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. No I'm matter what she said to you that day. No matter what she said to me that day. Made you know a what difference. What I'm saying? My loyalty is with with All my brother. Way. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like you. You know what I mean? So. And you still love him to death, even today. Who Jay? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah! You know what I'm saying? Like you know, I, I'm. This is this has been so good to me. This story, my story, you know what I'm saying, and the fact that people be like, "What?" You know what I'm saying? This nigga, I, you know, <laughs> I read part of your story, and I'm waiting on your book. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how could you still love this nigga? Nah, that's not God. You know, I, I gotta. Let me see how I put this, man. Like, because he's still your brother, regardless, no matter what. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying. He's still my brother, and I don't want to see nothing bad happen to him. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a bad ugly situation or you could look at it like like I said a different perspective you know what I'm saying like but but yeah I hear you but y it's been a long list of things of ways that your life has been affected by the stories that he tell in his music oh yeah so at the end of the day your life has turned different ways just by some of the things that he was saying that could have opened and closed doors and look how you, do you deal with that I deal with it on a level shit. today to where you feel like justified by the way your life is going. You know what I'm saying? That just made my character, that made me who I am, so, so much stronger on how to deal with certain issues. But you maneuvering around rhymes. Yeah. I'm being real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, yo, really, honestly, like, and then from the outside looking in, and even from the outside looking in, it's like, yo, like, why should I care? for somebody that really basically show you, tell you on record, and that he gives, gives two fucks about you. When you but you still love him regardless. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you find that peace? What, what, <laughs> what, when you hear that no hook, and you hear the haven, caving, and <laughs> all that, explain to me where you was at when you first heard that, and what did you think? I really wanna know, like, when he was really going in on you. Well, like I that. wish you had the system so that, yo, when you play this, make sure they let them hear this. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, at first, it was anger. And no, it was I ain't, at first I was mad. Like, yo, this nigga called me a snitch indirect. You know what I'm saying? Like, because he called out your name. Yeah, name. Right? But I was dealing with some different kind of people. That's what I'm saying. Like I was dealing with some different, I was dealing with some straight business people at that time too. That's what made me see things differently. Okay. Because I, I was angry. Like, yo, this nigga, you know, that shit blew up. But that was everybody right after the YouTube know, thing, right? Yeah, that was right after the YouTube thing. And everybody in my mama, I think my mama called me and said, 
Did, did you hear that? <laughs> you were like, what the? F yeah, you know what I'm saying? So was that the first song that he had ever? No, um, no, no. Read the first thing. Read the yeah. doubt, he bigged no, him up. That's not the first. Yeah, he bigged me up he in a couple him of up. So this was the first one he actually talked bad about. Not you. really. It's some before that. You okay. still got R. Kelly. You still got all the that, best. That, you still yeah. got a bunch of shit. Okay. Yeah, he yeah. talk about me, right? Um, but that was. That was a move that let me know about this business a lot more. Okay. That was a move to tell me and said, yo, this nigga said my name? He said my name? Oh, so this is the first one he but, said his but name? Yeah, he yeah. never clarified he never it like no okay, book. Okay, got like it. Like Dehaven. That got gave it. millions of people a uh, eyebrow like, what the, who the, who the fuck? That gave me an identity. That's what I was wondering, what made this one different from all the yeah, other times. Yeah, that gave me an identity. That gave me, it almost was like, nigga, that nigga looked out for you. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, what bigger promotion you need than that? Like he threw you, you a alley -oop. He threw me an alley-oop that I missed the whole ball. You know, I just missed the whole ball. Because you was angry. Because I thought anger first. Right. You know what I'm saying? When really, if... I would have had my book ready right there. I would have had anything to sell right there. Oh man, I wouldn't. I'd be on a different level. But what did you? What did you? What did you do to retaliate? Because everybody always, whether it be mentally, whether it be, what was something that you felt like, man? I need to do this. I need to get back. Because nigga wanted that to get started, back. Yeah, that started. Um, I don't even know. That started. Um, did it? Did it start more interviews? That's when you started doing more yeah, interviews. that's when I started doing more interviews. You know what I'm saying? And, and started, and YouTube was real early in its stages and shit. You, you had to figure out how to get money back then off of that too. And they was giving it up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had, like I said, I had a good team with me and I compensated for that. You know what I'm saying? That gave me a, the idea of creating Marcy Made. Yeah, but you do, you know you've dropped, the, you missed the ball because of not getting the books, of not um, doing the things to right. capitalize. Of not having, of not having that, that product ready. Yes. You know what I'm saying? The Coke dried up. You got all this product. You, you're supposed to, you're supposed to you had this in the stash. I ain't have nothing in the, I ain't have no product ready when he said that. But, you know what I'm saying, that led me to open my eyes about more about business and, and you know, how, how, you gonna, how you gonna hustle off this? And it's like, he wants you to showing you, he giving you shit to hustle off. And I ain't, you know, a couple of people around me telling you this, and you like, you gotta grasp more to this, like, yo, we can eat off this. He, give it, he can't give you no direct money in your hand, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he'll give you this, you know what I'm saying? You should be able to compensate that hustler if you that nigga, nigga. <laughs> but right. but also, also but right. it then legalities pop in. Yeah. So, 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 so let's stop playing. You can say that, but then yeah. now we start to look at defamation of character and all type yeah, of different things. Because thing, your mind, like, this shit can turn me. That. That's right. I had death threats behind wow. that. Wow. Yeah. Let, let's talk about that. Yeah, I had death threats behind that shit. And you still, it's just that the death threats, nah, real niggas recognize more than the death threats. So the death threats was... You know what I'm saying? I can I can maintain it because people really fuck with me that been in the system. Word spread in the prison system. Man, hold on. That nigga ain't, nah, that's a lie. You know, what hurt more is niggas didn't question the J. For even saying some shit like that. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that? Like, where we come from and these morals and our rules, you you really, you don't say anything like that consider calling someone out like that without having no no evidence, no paperwork, no nothing. Because people have gotten put down just because being called by just that name. Just because that, yeah. So even down to, like you said, legalities, I went to, I, I thought about suing, but it was, you know, some people tell me, you know, I went to several lawyers, man. I think, you know, they just was either scared they didn't want to fight it. You know, I, I couldn't find a lawyer to this day to be like, yo, defamation of character really? is really right there. And you, what more could you do? And, and a lot of them tell me, you know, statute of limits, they give me reasons not to even, I think you have to have a, you have to be on another level to, to fight some shit like that. Yeah. The reason I say that because really that's your legal name. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And you have ties with him. Yeah. So that's the part where I don't, I don't get it. 
um, to be real with you, but Benjamin I do. Crump, you hear that, right? <laughs> I, I don't get it. I just I'm want try, you dumb, I'm trying to understand. No lawyer won't take that, bro. You know what I'm saying? And they tell me about statutes limitations, but I'm just saying it still affects. You We're still, still got streaming. Some, you still got. You hear some, what I just some, said? <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Yeah, it's still, <laughs> still you know streaming. You know, I mean? you know what I mean? And we talk. Yeah, it's still streaming. <laughs> it's you know what I'm saying? You hear that, Benjamin? Right? You know what I'm saying? I'm in fifth. You don't you see him? <laughs> yeah, but that's that's real. Like like when you think about just the whole the whole legacy of all those songs, man. The one that one it it is we used to get money together. It uh, ain't Kelly. busy. It ain't it, it, it's strictly business. It ain't personal. I, I gotta ask you, like, cause I listened to that song after I left you, bro, and I'm like, this is so like we even sold to the same damn things, like. When you heard that, what were you home then? Were you out and about, and you just heard Yo, this shit? Where was you at? I don't know, man. But wherever I was at, it's always a phone call. Somebody be like, somebody like, nigga, somebody did you? be like, did you hear this? I'm like, what? And then you go look it I'm up. I'm about to send it to you. <laughs> then I start checking. My DMs start kicking. My DM. <laughs> then it's one after another. Be like, did you, everybody sending you the same shit? Did you hear that? And I'm like, Yo, I hear that. Okay, cool. That's how he feel. He expressed his way, he expresses his, his what we got going on through the music. But And you were going viral before viral was even a thing. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? You said, and that's why this has been going on the same time. You just heard he required it with falling. I ain't even let you listen to four four four. Yeah, one. yeah. You ain't listen to four four four. That shit, wow, Yo, bro. It's plenty is the, the music follows the story, man. We've been doing this for twenty something years that me and him been going. Do back you and think forth. he keep this as a con way to connect to you? Um You see what I'm yeah. saying? Because y'all were friends and he knows that y'all had this thing and he knows, man, it it reminds him every time he get on there in that booth like it's you something go that down I, it's an empty you can't, space. You can't it's an empty space you can't right run, now. You can't run from what 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 made you get to where you at. You can't run from that. You and when you look at that, part. that's me. The foundation of all of this shit. You can't run from it. And then this is what they like to hear. This is all entertainment too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can't you can't run from it. Because what's going on in his life right now because he's gotten to a, a point where he's a settled so he has to pull back in his catalog to you know rap about things that people are more related to yeah i mean tr tr truthfully people want him to answer it what what we people really want to hear an answer from him from me from what i everything i say but he give the answers in the music. Exactly. Right. You get what I'm saying? Which is smart because then people streaming and he makes he money. Make money. <laughs> That's the <laughs> thing about him. He ain't going to make no moves if he don't make no exactly. money. Exactly. This is where I pick my shit up from. This is why I do the same thing now. You get what I'm exactly. saying? How hard was it? Understand, you was a street cat, came from the, came from the trenches, uh, came from the bricks. For you to understand, when did it click? This is not a street game he's playing with me. This is a this is an internet. This is a this is a lucrative no. thing. Entrepreneurially, I could take this somewhere. Strategically, but this has got to be done this, strategic. This, when did it hit? When did it hit? When when did it hit? Like damn. When I start really thinking like a businessman, a boss man in, in, in this business on how you know this entertainment works, but and then I, and still keep my integrity. That's another thing that hold you back trying to keep your integrity, trying to give a fuck what people think. I ain't gonna say a lot, that held me back a lot. Uh, I would be way beyond if I if I, if I, care, if I didn't care what did. people think. You know what I'm saying? The internet has made me vicious <laughs> now. I be, I be killing them now, you know? I be, like, the internet has made so me. So you go back and forth. Oh, no, I mean. He gonna speak on it. Turn some lives, speak. I don't turn some lies around on that internet where dudes been like, yo, yeah. you know what, bro? I apologize, man. You know what I mean? Okay. You're a real gentleman about things. If you're gonna say, you, you can ask me anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, I, and I'm gonna reply. And I'm gonna ask, you know, does this make sense? Then you know, like people be like, yo, well, wh why are you doing this? And, and what you got, what's you know, what's the big picture and all of this on the Okay. You know, I, I still I love I still engage with them because they keep my you know, they keep me on point, keep me sharp. Mm -hmm. And let, and then it also lets you know there's some people out there that still that's blind. The brand, you were 
you help build the brand for Jay Z. Yeah. For you to see the brand take off and you not be a part of it. How hard was that? Um I don't I I don't think I care about being a part of the brand. It was just mainly about uh me having a position for for me. You get what I'm saying? Like I've always supported the brand. I showed that from the very beginning. You know what I'm saying? It just didn't get compensated for what, what I showed, the, the, the putting it together, helping put you it together. You put a lot up front to build it to where it got to take off. To see it take off and you know that you had your hands all in it, it had to affect you some kind of way. Well, having your hands in it and supporting it is a, two different things. When I say you had your hands in it, you supporting it. But, <laughs> yeah. but nigga, but you without see, some without people don't the, got it like this. Having my hands in it is I put up my money and exactly. said, yo, you know what I'm saying? Do this, do that, do that. When I didn't, in all reality, supporting it when you say, yo, I need help. Can you help me raise the funds for this? Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's different. And that's what you did. And that's what I did. Wow. You know what I mean? Keeping it a hundred with you, right? We mm -hmm. we on the same page. We understand it, right? I want everybody to know from the street perspective. Like, so you have you just assisted in raising the funds. So when people be like, "Why you think you responsible or whatever?" Well, okay, I'll let you decide. You know what I'm saying? You, you ain't put no money in it. All right, cool. You don't know, but I supported it. You know what I'm saying? I helped fund shit. You know what I mean? And so how do you look at it then? You know what I, mean? I got so for the haters. <laughs> I told you I've been on this internet too long, right? Because a hater going to keep making excuses for you not to be a part of something that, yo, bro, you just don't it, it end up telling me that, yo, it's just people that's just not going to like you, my man. So break it down even real. like that's a real. little bit more when they say that you assisted in um, raising the funds and also supported. Explain exactly how you did how you did that. What? Uh, ra raising uh, the funds. Uh, raising Assisted the funds. Assisted in that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so Dame, right? Mm -hmm. I had a I had a relationship with Dame outside of Jay. Okay. You know that's Jay man. Jay bought him to me and everything. This is my man. So Dame outside of me and Jay says, "Yo, yo, I need your help." Can you help me raise some funds to get this company off the ground? These my peoples, they may need the your company help. meaning rock, rock, yeah, rock, yeah, rock, rock wanna, yeah, I want to get that was Dame who came to you and said, I want to get right. this record company off the ground. You know what I'm saying? It would be very helpful to us, to me, to, and, and it helps this. If you, you know, introduce, if you meet this guy here and, 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 and work with him. I don't need him, but if you, I don't need him. I got my own guys, but all right, I'll work with that. You know what I'm saying? I'll if work that's with gonna you. help the brand, if it's gonna help the brand, and I'll bring y'all introduce you to some new clients. I bring my clients over here until everything works out. That's it. That's and when real. you find what you get, what you wanted, that's fine. I can go back to what I'm going to. Back to it's all good. That's real. You know what I'm saying? And those do him, they same guy. Seem to forget that. Wow. So that's how you help. And and, and you yeah. think about Dame. Dame is uh he ends up in a situation where him and Jay Z don't even talk or don't even he ends up the that's same gonna happen. But how can I not see that happen? But you, you, so you seen the fact that you, well, 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 you seen nigga, you you knew and Dame we, ain't putting no what did he sacrifice? Nah, for real. Let's get to the nitty gritty. That's Both real. You know what I'm saying? This is where the betrayal and the hurt come in at, right? You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I can see that coming. I sacrificed my life for that shit, for him. Not once, not twice. I put my life on the line a lot of times. You understand? And he still dumped me to the wayside. So you think that I think y'all relationship gonna work out down the line if you ain't just, you ain't sacrificed nothing? You knew it was. You just like came in because you had knowledge about the business and knew how to be a boss in that business to help you. Then this and that and the third. Okay, cool. That's just it. He gonna use you for that then. Then he done. 
then you're done. Or whatever happened in the relationship, I can never tell you what happened in a relationship. But at the end of the day, I already know. I put my life on the line for it. He ain't respect that. How is he gonna respect that? You ain't put your life on the line. Kanye ain't put his wife on the line. Nobody around him that he disposed of, they sacrificed their life for him. Only people around him might be, okay, Henry took the ride, and whatever Tata might pretend to be did. I don't know. Yeah. So you seen so you're also saying that everybody who has came around him eventually fell out with him. No, I just fell out with him and said, What is just what they're worth to him? Yeah. It's all about if the money. If you got rid of me. But, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like Yes. <laughs> but at the stage he is in now, I could see the fallback even more than I would say from the when you and him you know, started together. The fallback is just continuously with certain it's levels and you feel like the more levels he get to, the more different friends he's critiquing or meeting. He's in the room with Warren Buffett's and all type of stuff right. now. So it's a whole different realm of people that he's dealing with, yeah, right? Exactly. To educate himself on what he's trying to accomplish at this stage. Um <laughs> I'm just being when real. You say he educate himself. Um, is he educating himself or he just got the right team? Not, you know what I'm saying? He building a team, but you still, you saying, gotta be in them rooms to have them conversations to be yeah, able to being maneuver. Being in those rooms is, yeah, you should, yeah, that's another you, level, right? You gotta be but in the rooms. You, you in those rooms. I don't know. For you? Yes, that's what he's in there for, for himself. You think? It's not for, for nobody else. For himself and his brand. And the brand? Because you don't see Who's him. behind the brand? See, hold, this on, is what we're you don't see, hold on, because you don't see. Hold on, because you don't see. This. <laughs> because with him, okay, when you look at other people who are, you know, rising up, you see them bringing a team with them. And everybody in the team is succeeding. Do you see a team around him where everybody is also elevating along with him? Or do you just see him and his significant other, his wife? As he as he goes up in status, a lot of the people he's been around, you heard the song when he said, Dame made millions, Big made millions. Uh, he say, see, Benny would tell you if he wasn't in his feelings. He said he made all these One people billion, millionaires. Million, LeBron, all he them, made man. all these folks billions, he said. So you got to give him credit for that part. Because he's telling you, I put these niggas in position. Only one that he really stopped rocking with that he didn't just, wasn't nothing that they kind of coincided with when it came to that because he made his own was De Haven. De Haven got, was his own, and that was, yeah. And he knew that. It almost was, do you think it was a comp competition thing at a point for you and him? Well, he felt like if I have him alone. Uh, I just thought he showed, He said what he thought. He, you know, he thought I was on the end. He thought I, I, I was. Um, he thought I was an enemy. That's like, how did you get to being from being on the couch with a guy, hanging out with a because, guy? Because of the you listening to the music. Because three shots at him, he thought that I was behind those three shots at his life. All of this shit is a story being told on all the He records. told about the three shots early on, 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 on that first, that, 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 uh. He talked about it a couple of times. No, but that first time I, uh, on that, uh, what's the name of that, that first album? With Dead Presidents, the one with Dead, what was that? Oh. Uh, what was that, what was that album? Not Blueprint, right? No, it wasn't Blueprint, the first one. Reasonable Doubt. Yeah, Reasonable Doubt. He talks about. The fact of uh, 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 you getting shot in the yeah, side, yeah. then he come right back and talk about the three shots right in the same. That yeah. shit had to be close in a, the way he the way he organized the rhyme. It seemed right. like it was like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Was it that close? How how nah, far of a space that was close. that? How far? Nine was, six to. Yeah, it was close. See what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it was close. It had to be like how two years a year. Yeah. Two years, less than two years. Less than two years. Yeah. So from the time you got shot to the time he was getting shot at. Yeah. Well, less than two years. No. No. The rhyme is, shot. I'm telling I you how to shot. rhyme. I got shot in 80, 89. I got shot in 89. And when did he got shot and after? Reason Doubt came out in 96. 
No, I'm talking about when he got shot at. Right? When he got shot out, yo, that's yeah, that that's two yeah, eighty nine to win. Yeah, that's less than two years. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the way he rhymed it, he made it to where he shaped yeah. that shit into a, a burst, nigga. He's very he's he's he, he that nigga when it comes to words, bro. He's so nasty. he played that in a situation where that whole situation happened so fast in his life. He he gave you a glance at what it was, right? Mm -hmm. So. When you heard that and you know that all of this stuff is stimulating around him not rocking with you no more. Mm -hmm. he, he, the shot part, he was with you. He even said, my man, he, he referred to as his guy. Yeah. But then he didn't mention you in that first instance to me like like, like, like you had anything to do or anybody that right. do with shooting nah, at him. he didn't say nothing now. Like he was trying to hold on to something. Yeah. At is. that time when that song came out in 96, where were you guys at in the relationship? Um, Meaning, as far as your mind state, like, uh, nine, like, why would he treat it that way on reasonable doubt? Like, it wasn't like there was no no ill because intention. He, we had yeah, we we had went our separate ways at that time too. We, we kind of was on our separate ways. So he you know didn't want to mix and mingle at like you. Yeah, he, we was you know I was on my journey somewhere else, and he was in he was dealt going hard into the music. He was great get hard into the music. A lot of people felt like that when he got shot at those three times. He ain't you, never looked back. It it seems as if he, he felt like you back. like you. He felt like you could have did something to prevent it, or some kind of way you could have spoke on it in a way to stop it from happening, or you might have had you know something to do with it happening. He, he could. He, um, Did you reach out to him after that happened? Back. Yeah, yeah. We tried to. I tried to reach out to him after that. Uh, that and happened. you, you wasn't able to talk. You to knew him? people that was looked, close to him, his yeah, sister and all yeah, of them. Yeah. And yeah. you tried to talk to them to talk nah, to him. Yeah, yeah. That was that was a wrap. And they couldn't talk to him about nah, it. Nah, that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> he made it clear. How? <laughs> Huh? How did he make it clear? By distancing distancing himself even further from them. From them. From no, from us. No, but if you talk to his sisters to talk to him or his mom to talk to him. Oh, no, nah, they wasn't that, that he wasn't having a conversation about it. So nobody because could get to him if, about it. If if he went to them and said this is how he felt about it, they ain't gonna, they not they not trying to be involved in that. Yeah. You know I'm saying they're not going to change his decision if he think that's what you know. I, but you wasn't on the block when he got shot at three times. I don't know. I was, you were I was locked, locked up. up. Yeah, I was locked up. But he thought he Place the order. He probably for thought it. I he thought I placed the order. But did you place the order? Nah, man, he know that. He apparently he don't because he didn't talk because to you. Because he's not. Um, you know, I, I think you know that's just entertainment when it comes to certain things he say because he know that. But the way it makes sense that I, you know the same person I lay my life down for that I would do that. Yeah, but, but then you sacrificed a, a brotherhood over that then. Be, uh, for this other guy that he knows shot at him. Right. And he knows and the he guy knows the and he knows you still link with the so, guy. So listen, so yeah, right. So I say, like, I do public speaking. So when I say certain, when I talk to these kids and I talk to them about, even older guys, and I talk to them about the game. You see what you just said about, yeah, well, he knows this, and he knows that, and he knows, he knows this, right? Well, okay, we all know this game, though. Right, and if we're gonna get really deep into the game and start talking about, well, he knows this is wrong and that's wrong. At the end of the day, like we, we was dealt this game anyway, and we wasn't. The rules was set up against us to be doing this anyway. Mm -hmm. So when you realize this, yo, bro, like you know what, bro? Yeah, I shot at him. This nigga did this. These dudes jumped me. You know what I'm saying? All according of a game that. We don't even play no more. We look back on that as grown men and be like, man, we was playing in those streets. In them streets now that we know that it have no, you know, no rules, no, no, no loyalty in it or nothing. So now what I gotta do, I still holding a grudge against you. You shot my brother back in the days because he tried to rob you and took your package and this and that. I got a grudge against you. You know what I'm saying? That's all the shit that came with the streets. You know what I'm saying? When you gonna let that go? The streets was rigged because that shit got put in our neighborhoods. It was intended for all of this shit to happen. For us to sell our drugs to each other and do this and do that. It was all designed. We were set up. 
Man, I ain't got no problems with you no more, man, for no shit back then that we know that that shit was rigged from the beginning. It's set up for us to be doing this against each other from the beginning. Jay know he was wrong with the situation. You know what I'm saying? Just leave it alone then. Why, why, why come and act like you don't know? You don't think I tried to do that. You know where I was. You know what you was doing. You know what I'm saying? It's lucky that I didn't that you know that that he did that it didn't ki- that he didn't kill you. you know why because I put my life on the line again. When you say you put your life on the line again, you and him could have been you and the guy could have gotten into could have gotten into it because it. he was you was trying to take up for Jay because he was being loyal to me, and you still was trying to take up for Jay. And after I'm still that trying to take up for him. So and now he crusted in my loyalty. How did you How did you get him to understand? Because we, I put this all together. I did this. So you had to break you it down to I him. I had to break this down. I put all this shit together, bro. And I'm asking for, yo, you got those, you got where, on the strength of. That's what I call it is. Some of these niggas out here on the street, you got, yo, you, my friendship on you, regardless on how you feel about that nigga. Yo, listen, on the strength of me, on what we got, you leave that nigga alone. And they'll say it. Man, oh, yo, only because of you. <laughs> you understand? You know so he saying? wasn't going to stop. He nah, wasn't, wasn't going to stop. If you, how did you get out? Did you reach out to him on the phone? Because you was locked nah, up. No, nah, I came home. When I came home. He it, still was on it. He came on. He was on it. He, how he, long How long after that did you I come home, home? How long did I didn't it take? know none of that shit was going on until my man. My man is 100%. So you didn't know he had gotten nah, shot at. When he come in, when I first door, when I come around the way, boom, he pulled me up. Yo, you know what this nigga was doing? <laughs> but how long after he got shot at did you come home? Yeah. How long did it take? Oh, if, if not a few months. Too. Okay. Because I ain't had that much time to do okay. So when you came home, he was like, you know what this nigga doing? And you what know what you, this nigga did? And what did you say? And I'm like, what? He said, first of all, and it, he was, you know, he, he had no business fucking with these your connect, right? He had no business fucking with your peoples. You know, did you, did you co-sign that? He know he ain't co-sign that. Nah. So I handled my business. So he know that you you guys had locked. He wasn't trying to rock with you no more. He knew you were locked up. Jay had he disconnected. He knew that Jay had no business fucking with that connect without knowing, without coming to me first. Why did he go over there without coming to you first? Greed, anyway? greed, man. Is you, it? Did he need it to survive? Did he need it? Did he need that you know, to survive? No, he didn't. He didn't. You know, it's just about rules and regulations and, and morals to this shit, bro. And you he knew the rules. And this is why I tell people in these streets, I tell these young people, yo, everybody wants your spot, bro. That's a sign of jealousy, ain't it? Ain't it? Mm-hmm. Everybody wants your spot. I don't give a damn how well I treated these niggas. These niggas have made a hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars at me. But if they'd have got a better connect, you think they would have put me on? Nah, they're going to say, yo, you know what? They're going to say, the Haven, you know what? You was giving them to, to, give them to you for 25. How about I give them to you for 22? If he got a good, he, he's not going to say, yo, I got to connect. Yo, let's put our money together and we kill. You know, he's not going to think like that. So you're saying that whenever he did that, he showed it. He was showing his hand. He showed no loyalty. And showed that. But because you still loved him as a brother, regardless of that betrayal. Right. Still love him as well, a brother. Don't let Yo, no, you know what? Let no, 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 We through. all family, bro. We all did this. We all did this. I put this shit together. I put this whole operation together. So, Jay, after he got shot at, he did never come back. Never came back after that. He never looked back. He thought, you know, you know, like he said on record, man, you think I got a part of that? That's your comeback? You know, you're lying, man. Wow. Wow. I want to circle back to Dame, man. Dame Dash. Recently, recently on the podcast said <laughs> that Big Pimpin, he oh, answered yeah. the question that Big Pimpin was about him yeah, and his life. Yeah. And I want to know how you feel about that because you've been dealing with, uh, you know, really like your name being mentioned and everything. How did you feel when you heard Dame's response to that podcast? Dame, everybody know what Dame. Now, I could be wrong. He might have... They may be right if Jay talking about him and Big Pimpin'. If that's what it was, 
Jay talking about him on that Pacific record, that that big pimpin'. Hey, he could be right. Who knows? But I'm just checking it, making sure that they ain't exposing something about Jay talking about his life. And I'm like, wait a minute. Like, who was, what was your life? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, where your name at in the books? You feel what I'm saying? What trench? What block? What, where were we going with this, right? You know what I'm saying? So if, you know, that's you can take it as two ways. I, I really think Dame was talking about the big pimpin' song and only that song. I mean, he, other than that, if he's talking about anything other than that, he's capping, you know what I mean? And Dame, he didn't do that every now and then. Because the rest of those songs, you know clearly. Song, you already know. And, and you know what, though? Hey, I take a lot of that back. Just keeping it 100 with you. You know, it could be it's songs. In same way I'm saying Jay talking about me and I'm proving it, facts, they, they might could do that. Yeah, but he called your name. Oh, yeah. Well, he called. But, da- well, he don't, yeah, he ain't called Dame name. He yeah, said he Dame may be make another one. Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. That'd yeah. Be, that be directed at you. Don't know. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You yeah. may need make another yeah, one. Yeah. I heard so, motherfuckers saying they made hole, made hole. Say make, okay, so make, make another, another hole. Right. So so see, he was talking straight see, to Dame on that. See what I'm saying. So Dame got some. Yeah, he got some issues that he could say that. You know what I mean? And I apologize. If he thought, well, I'm just, you know, I jumped on it to a point where I thought, hey, wait a minute, we ain't going back to the reason without these. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, it couldn't you know, have been. He, you, know, you, you must be talking about, yeah, he could be talking about, you know, uh, Dame and they relationship too, man. And that's just, I know, the first time we talked, I know you said that when you and Dame had gotten into it in Maryland, is it Maryland where y'all was? South Carolina. South Carolina. Y'all had y'all issues about that party. Yeah. You yeah. knew then once once that Jay didn't, you know, try Jay to... Jay didn't interfere with that, you know what I'm so saying? So that made it to where where you felt like Dame seen a a, 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 a seen gap the in the relationship. That's right. And he was able to capitalize on it. And pretty much at this point, they could run with the story and make the whole story of Jay about... Of behaving a Jay story. Yeah. And take you out of it completely. Do you still feel that way? Um... Yeah, they they always try to change the narrative of the story. Uh, to this day, they, they ain't gonna admit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? To this day, I've always kept. It, it, if Jay would have showed his loyalty to me, and maybe that's in Jay way, he like, man, I knew where I was going with this all along. You know what I'm saying? This is why I ain't say nothing. You know, because the only Jay situation, only Jay was just more like, yo, calm, you know, just don't worry about it, Dave, don't worry about it. Let that shit go, don't worry about Dave. When I'm like, yo, nah, I say something to this nigga because he's doing too much talking, you know what I'm saying? And so you knew Dame was doing a lot of talking. Yeah, he was really, pop- he was definitely popping off. Was you guns. offended about it? Yeah, yeah, because I had lost a Why lot of money Why you didn't say nothing show. to Dame? Why you just didn't no, say no, nothing to Dame? No, no, me and Dame was going nigga. back and forth, but... I'm not gonna go back and forth with you. I got shooters right here. These niggas ready to carry it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna go back. They looking at me like, yo, what you want me to do? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, nah, his son got his little boy with him. And you know what I mean? It is what it is. This is something I should take to Jay about his peoples. Yo, Jay, handle Dame talking reckless. You see what's going on here. We talking about some petty money that he talking about. And Jay, he's just like, yo, don't worry about it. And I think, not showing it's a weak link in the chain. Like it's almost like Sonny telling what's the name and, and, and Godfather, yo, don't ever fucking go outside the family. Don't ever side outside of the family. Did you if his son had hadn't been with him, he could have Ah, that shit would have been ugly. His son saved him. Yeah, his son saved him. I ain't gonna lie about that. Yeah, his son saved him. Yeah, he had a little his new man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know his son his son doing things now. I think he DJs or something. I, man, yeah. Yeah, that saved him. That saved him. Yeah. Do you feel like, you know, ha- have you even seen Dame after all this either? No. Nah. Because Dame, what, what, he never, did he ever come to the Marcy Projects and any of that stuff early on? Uh, I think he, he from did, Harlem, I think, right? Yeah, I think he did the streets is watching down there and shit with, with that one particular time. But, but that he not, uh, uh, he, he, not, not a, he not, he not going to be running around Brooklyn, though. He, he never was that tight, no. Nah. He not coming to Brooklyn. No. See, I don't know how the streets she, work Jay up there. Jay not even coming to Brooklyn <laughs> at that time. At that time, I understand. Jay, he he tried. He converted all the way over to just like this Harlem style. How long was Jay out of Brooklyn? 
when this when this whole thing was going on, he never came back to Brooklyn. Nah, I mean, nah. You, you know what? It, it can't, it's like you go to another neighborhood and you that nigga. So why are you going back to your neighborhood where they looking at you like yo? You just showing. Mm. <laughs> so when he so first Harlem, came back, Harlem laid out the red carpet. When he first came back to the hood, when did you know? Like damn, he came back finally. Huh? In Brooklyn. When he finally came back to do the video or whatever. What day? What? When was that? When he had a uh, massive security. Exactly. I know. I'm asking you. When, when the hell was, was it? I was never around for all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. But but he came back hella, he came hella back, security. He came back like the president. Yeah, he came back untouchable. Like, and he felt threatened. He ain't never. He and he never. And he never came back. If you ever. When somewhere like if he came down there and you saw him face to face, what would you say or do? I don't know. It's, it'd be it'd be awkward. You know what I'm saying? Would I don't you want to have a conversation with him? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to fight him. I know, you know that. So I'm like, hey, if I don't know, or would you just walk past him like you don't see him? Nah, he can't do that neither. Like, I don't know. You don't know yeah, what that, you'd that say. would be the most awkward shit. Like, you know, and I think in his lifetime that he thinks that. Probably like that's the last thing that could ever happen. Okay, if, if that happened, he planned that shit. Hypothetically, <laughs> if Jay came and you and him were in the same setting, and he apologized and said, "Hey, man, everything we went through, man, that's is is it's a wash." What would you what would you what would you say? It's a wash, but you know we still that you know we we have to have that conversation. But it, and it ain't about money or none of that. Nah, it ain't about no money, man. You know what I'm saying? Just, I do. You, you, nah, it, certain things is out of respect. It, like, it's out. Of, it, it ain't. It's bigger than money. Ain't you it? know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a it's a ex explanation. It's like yo, if not me, my mom's my nigga. You ain't watch Marcy made. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If not me, if it's, if it's whatever with me. This lady took care of you, bro. This nigga, this lady was there. Hospital, bell, this, that. Your mom's ain't around. So if I don't care about me, like my earth, when you watch it and I know the shit she done for you, for me, for the love, and she wasn't just like, it just for me, she loved you like a son and you just like, ah, it's total, that, that hurt more. Than anything, mm -hmm. I don't think I have. I don't even think I would have done no YouTube, no nothing, if I ain't feel like you just you just shit it on my family. It's a verse in that. Uh, it strictly been. It, it ain't personal. He talk about your mom. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Did you know? You knew that, yeah. right? Yeah. He's and it's still like he's still kind of arrogance though. You still, but you you don't prove that though. That's what not, did he say about? I, 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 I gotta go to it. I gotta he go to it. Something Give me about your. Uh, your mom said I changed. Huh? I didn't change. I'm still here like road game. Yeah. Ask your boy what he did to the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was, you, you didn't listen to the song. He, he said something like that, it. but he come back with, he nasty with those he put shit. you right back into it. He put it. me right back, but ask your boy what he did to the game. Like put all the blame back on him. Yeah, you. you know what I'm saying? Like he, he like, yo, you know what I'm saying? He's he real nasty with them words, but like I said, it's about me being a hustler and compensate and uh, how to deal with that. I would love to see y'all sit down and have a discussion though. Hold on, I'm gonna cut this out. You don't see it like. Your mom got it twisted, she think home change. No, it's still here, like real game. Ask your boy what he did to the game. I ain't sympathize the whole game. Now when we see each other, it's so strange. I don't know whether to hug him or suck him. I don't, I don't know, know whether the cap was the devil. devil. I don't know what the thing I don't, I don't know, know what's happening. happening. But what I, I do know, all the niggas that you, you know, locked up doing the funeral. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Wait a minute. What the locked up no. part? Like what the hell? And what yo, is the bro, lock? Is all your own part? giving it up, <laughs> ain't he? <laughs> like, yo, bro, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you me? Why? The whole song is, is totally about every verse. And that's what I say the hurt coming at. Like, yo, bro, you you can shoot shots at me all day, bro, but it's like you ain't show my mama love, no love, bro. They said music and is therapy, you, so. And then you try to say everybody locked up, but me, though. But in reality, you, you the only one that's not locked up, bro. Well, you, you flipped the whole narrative that quick, you know what I'm saying? 
That's crazy, bro. When you heard it, what did oh, you think? Heard that, that one streets, right there. The streets was on fire then. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. This nigga just reckless with the mouth. Like, this nigga just got, you know, and, and he just got reckless with the mouth. But as a businessman, I supposed to be able to be like, you oh, didn't think about he's that. blessing you didn't me. Think about he's that. giving me the you didn't fucking think about torch that. right you now. You didn't think you about that. Nah, because, you know, you, you know, you're in somewhere else. Your mind is not. Where it's supposed to be. How old was you when that when that song came? How huh? what was your age back then? I don't then? know, bro. You were younger. <laughs> I'm trying to think what was I going through. How long through? ago did it come out? Nah, that's uh yes. uh Best of Both Worlds. Best of I don't both know world. what year. That was but um It might have been ni- uh, ninety it's ninety something. I don't know. Or two thousand. Look yeah, up the best of both worlds. Uh between it's him and R him and uh, R. Kelly. But that ain't nothing to compare to the black Republican with him and Nas. What did he say on the black Republican? We was just, uh, uh, I was just, uh, that I was just the, uh, the son of her mother's friend. Back then, we used to hover over the oven. Back then, <laughs> you hear what he had said on the black Republican? With really? Guys? <laughs> Yo, bro, he just goes on and on. You, that's what I'm 2002. saying. 2002. See what I'm saying? Oh, I was just going to jail. I was just, I was in prison. Yeah, that came across the airways in the prison system. Wow. Oh, so that's where you heard it? Yeah, that's where I heard it. I was locked up. I think I, Jay really loves you, bro. <laughs> yeah, yo, son. Not yeah. being real. Yeah. He said, I don't know if I need to hug you or slug you. Yeah. So it's like the option of even hugging you is like, you know, yeah. torn it's emotion. Now. Yeah. Because he wouldn't have even said hug. He would have been like, I just wanted this, this, man, this. Listen, bro. My boy that was supposed to come with me here, uh, he cute. Man, he came with me here. He deciphered. He's a Jay-Z, like... Therapy, like I don't know. When I first met him, he said he ra- Jay Z raised him, and he proved every bit of that to me. He, he told said, you everything yeah. about you. He told me everything about me. He said the only thing that was missing. By the time I met him, that was the only thing that was missing. He said everything else he knew about Jay. <laughs> he proved it to me. And when we sat down and did an interview, I felt like he already knew who I was before I sat there. You know what I'm saying? And I usually he carry was, him with me wherever I go because you know because he, he pull up verses. He deciphers everything. He hit he, he, I only gave you a few lists. This nigga got it up here. <laughs> he know. He, he know it. Oh, don't worry. The next ball saw him. We be got to bring him, him on there. He nasty. I got to hear this nasty. nigga break the real Because he going to tell you. Me and him been like this since, bro. He knew. Because I thought, for real, on a serious shit, I, I see a lot of people say they Jay-Z. Dudes no, this, this nigga that. really when Jay-Z. When I walked in the studio and shit, he seen, I seen Jay-Z on the wall. He said, yo, bro, that nigga raised me right there. Like He said, yo, that was like my pops. All his music was therapeutic. And this nigga get money, and he, he, he lived it. You know what I'm saying? And then when we sat what down... What was the talk- most explosive thing that he asked you and that he told you? You know what the you most explosive know? thing he just told me? And we sit down, we kick it all the day, and that shit is the realest shit that I ever heard. He said how much he loved Jay. This is how much he loved Jay. He loved me to death, right? And I asked him this. I said, yo, if you sat down with Jay, and would you sit down with Jay and do him an interview? He said, nah. Cause I wouldn't want to hear, I wouldn't want to see him lie to me. Wow, that was the realest shit he said. I wouldn't want to see. I just couldn't wear bear the fact that he would lie to me, being that I know the truth about anything. He said I wouldn't want to do it. He said, but he knew you through Jay's music. That's Jay, how he Jay's knew Jay's you. Music, right? But then, okay. But he's seeing you through Jay's eyes by knowing you through his music. Yeah. So when he finally met you and was hearing all of your story. He, How did he feel about the differences? Oh man, he said it. That, that said it all when he said that. Like the fact that the matter, yo, I got so much love for that nigga. I just don't want to. I wouldn't want to see him lie to me, being that I know the truth. And all of these years, you know what I'm saying? It fucks with people. But he's hearing your side of the story. I always say there's he three knew, sides yeah. to the story. Yeah, but he just hearing my side of Florida put in all the blanks of what he didn't know. Oh, okay. And, he, pre- and then he told me more about music that Jay, yo, this is this is how I felt about you when he said this. He got way more story breakdown than I got. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. And he to opened you. your eyes and to some of the stuff. He opened my eyes to a lot of shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? To a point like, yo, you know, even down to, he's a historian when it comes to this Jay shit. And mm. like I said, he was supposed to be here a minute, but his, that his weather, his flight got messed up too. Right. But he'll be part two, man. He's a good guy, man. Y- y'all would trip off of him. 
Because like, he going to go for verse for verse. He going to go into the breakdown on what Jay was thinking. He broke the code. That Jay book <laughs> says, uh, wow. the decoded. Oh, yeah, he broke that shit. Mm. How do you feel when people, you hear people just say this all the time, that Hove was a part of Illuminati and that... Basically, when, That's you, what hear, I was wondering when you hear too. that, because you hear that a lot, the God thing, the symbols, him and Beyonce and the kids, it, all kind of things are out there. Like when you hear that and then you hear him say, you know what I'm saying? He say on that song, he talk about the, uh, the right. Illuminati, like that's some nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I don't know. He's personally, on, he play on it. What I do play, know is they, Oslo, they ain't come make me an offer. <laughs> That's all I'm telling you that. Would you take is it that, if they did? Hell nah, no. man. <laughs> nah, I doubt it. I don't know what the oath is or what also, it is. Also, it's just depending. Huh? It's just depending on nah, what Nah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I know what I'm a part of. I'm a part of uh, God. You know what I'm saying? I, that's what part I am. Like, if it, if it don't have nothing to do with God, <laughs> no got nothing to do with church and, and me finding my purpose and, this, that's, and doing all of that, nah, I know that. That's not a that's not a part of God over there, and mm -hmm. we see that. So wow. let me ask you this question: So, um, have you ever met um, Jaguar Wright? Uh, nah. No. Yeah, but we talk. I ain't meet her in person. Oh, but you but spoke me and her to has, her. Me and her has conversations before. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was watching one of the interviews where um, they were talking, and she was like, "Yeah, she wanted to talk to you, you know, off Person, air, yeah, personally yeah. off air." So I didn't know if y'all yeah, actually I, got know, a man, chance. I to think she's uh, dope. No. Um, it's funny how you mentioned her name, right? She she just started speaking about that, right? Since mm -hmm. I probably told her about my story right. probably a year ago, a year and a half ago, right? So listen, so dope ass story, and it's crazy because this girl just reached out to me in my DM before, just not too long ago, right? She says, hey, you, I don't know if you remember me, but we hung out together in South Carolina. I think we went to a show, a concert, whatever, this and that, and the third. And I was like, oh, shit, I do remember you. You know what I'm saying? So I hit her back. Yeah, I remember you um, because I rented, you know, back then I uh, had a little connect with Chris Lighty. And he was 50 manager then. Okay. So, you know, I, I rented a limo to drive to the House of Blues from North Carolina to South Carolina to see the show. And, and, and when I got there, when I seen the show and everything, and I met her, and she wasn't lying. So we went out, I hung out with her. She had a friend. Um, we met Chris Thomas from the DC, the the, the mayor, the co comedian guy. We all hung out together. But anyway, she was like, you know, you remember me? She even said, you know, I came here uh, to meet you in a rally a few times. That's where I had a crib at at that time. And she was like, we, we had a relationship. And I'm like, well, that part I don't remember. <laughs> it's ironic, but I don't remember that part, mm -hmm. but I remember the, everything up to there. But long story short, when we was talking just not too long ago, she was just like, yo, you know, I remember everything you told me back then about you, how you and Jay had a bad, you know, y'all broke up, this, that. And this is, I'm telling you, this is back South Carolina. This is no longer, not too long after the uh, me and Dane fall Dane fall out, yeah. So she said, I remember all of that. She said, then how I found you is I heard Jaguar Wright said something about Dehaven, <laughs> right? Wow. Like she said, I heard Johnny West say something about Dehaven and Jay Z's story. And then she was like, wow, you know, the fact that I told her this story back then. Right. And Jaguar doing, saying this right now is like, it solidifies, like, mm -hmm. yo, you know, it, it, people, if you be on Jaguar line, they'd be like, this bitch is crazy. This bitch is crazy, but she, the girl like, no, she ain't crazy. He told me this 25 years ago. Wow. You get what I'm saying? Wow. So, you know, I'd be like, yo, these people just think, you know, sometimes Jaguar goes, she just, she's just being Jaguar. Yeah, a lot you of know? people are um, believing her a lot more now, especially after the P. Diddy situation. Yeah, exactly, when that came exactly. out and everything came out to be. And my next step is actually me with her, man, because like part of it, I got some dope shit I'm trying to do with this music. And she is super, super still talented. Oh, yeah, and she shit, talented. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's my 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 connection with her and shit. A lot of people think like, yo, we going to get together and do some Jay-Z bashing. Yeah. I'm like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Me and uh, Jaguar on a different agenda with the Jay-Z shit, but I definitely you know, want to work with her with the music and shit because she's mm. dope still. Do you fear, I, mean, I ain't going to say fear, uh, when it come down to Jay and like I said, the Diddy stuff and him being around Diddy? Like, What's my fear? 
That's what I'm saying. Like he's your boy, though. There's, there's, I mean, you you don't yeah, want to see nothing bad happen to him. No, nah, I don't want to see nothing bad happen to him. But you, you know. see what I'm saying? Because there was a lot of cameras over there. Yeah, I you know what I'm saying? They said two hundred and something. I you know. You understand? I, I can't. Um, how do I explain that? Like, <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, because he's not saying anything about the a, whole situation. He's, he's been, been very, real quiet, very quiet, quiet, real reserved, right? yeah. real reserved. No, that's all of them, though. It's yeah. not just Jay. It's, it's a bunch of them. It's a bunch of them, bro. They do that. Why do you think they, 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 so they, they this, It's almost like, listen, when niggas got knocked off with your work, and they'd be like, wasn't they got picked up? How was you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You say, it wasn't they got picked up. You say, wait a minute, who? And what else? You know what I'm saying? You Related know, to the streets like that, yeah. it makes sense, right? Yeah, you just got to like, like niggas that. ain't talking niggas to him right now. Niggas ain't talking like that. They're like, damn, I used to fuck with that nigga. I called that nigga. Did I call him on my phone? Did I call him on who phone? Who phone? Did he call me? They be like, the feds? Or the feds? You, start, you be trying to you figure start out tra- what the trying fuck. Trying to figure shit out. And then you try to stay away from shit. That's I just waited out to see what happens. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, seemed, you know, but as a person, though, that was rocking with somebody... The they don't have no support for each other. Exactly. And Unless start, they've been involved. Then they gotta talk. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If you ain't been involved in it, you know what I'm saying, you be you, you, you really pretty much it's hard because you nigga put you in a bag, a trick bag. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't never seen you did it, and I'm like, nah, let me nah, he ain't about that shit. You bugging because I never seen you do it around me. But then when the tape come out, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying like I just said you know what I mean so if you ain't been around it though you can support him cause now it changes it goes yo man, man my, my man dealing with something you know what I'm saying he has a sickness you know what I'm saying but if you saw it and you didn't do nothing about it you you know what's going on mm-hmm. you was around it you ain't try to stop it that's why I'm like, yo, you know how many people that have not tried to stop you think they ain't seen that you know how many niggas out there whooping ass today Period. That you know how many girls. Do you know how much confidence that these girls about to get? Was <laughs> there? Because dudes been in doing that shit. Nah, that's just never been a part of. My but a people. lot of people, even like Raven Simone, came out and say, you know, everybody know about this. Every this is the thing that everybody talk about. Yeah, everybody everybody do knew. Know it, but they keep quiet. Right. Is that mind your business shit? Like I don't know how that shit works, bro. But one thing I do know, they know who to do that shit with. Because it couldn't have been my daughter. No. It couldn't have been my niece. It couldn't have been. That's why I don't be understanding. Like, do these women have any males in their life? Russell Simmons. Serious. Mm-hmm. Russell Simmons say uh, it's a lot of lot of memes and stuff being sent to him by a lot of people who, if they if it wasn't for Diddy, they wouldn't even have a career. They talking down now. But he says, Russell Simmons says, Cause he just went through. Yeah, some he stuff. wouldn't have a real career, right? He's so, saying without Diddy, you niggas what, would. Y'all you know saying all this out? negative they stuff. But at what they cost? They have a career, but what did they do? Right. What did they at have to cost? do to get it? That's why. Mm-hmm. Damn, you know what I'm saying? They can't come out. Cause what did at I have to cost? do? Right. You can't sit and tell me, yo, you know what I'm saying? I, you looked out for me, but you been, you know, I had to, what I had to do to get it from you. You made me do this. You made me do that. So that's why they send so bad why, memes so now. That's why it's a flip script to that when you say, when uh, Russell Simmons say, yo, a lot of people got their careers off Diddy, but what did they have to do? That, that's what you don't know. No, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Some so, of the stories you're hearing is <laughs> coming out. That's what the ones not that's good. coming out. It's not so that's good. that's why you should mind your business, Russell, because you shouldn't be so You shouldn't be talking. You just went through something. Well, some things you're going to have to hush up on, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, don't try to defend somebody for doing something. Yo, you're not there. He, I think he probably just thought about how he just went through his thing. I think he won his thing. I don't and know. I'm quite sure people made careers off him, but that don't yeah that they don't still like, yeah they still so you, they, 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 they don't justify what you done was right. Don't justify it at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, bro, it's so many people nowadays, man. My DM beef so full of like, bro, you was right, bro. Yo, yo, uh, it's a blessing that you ain't no part over there with Jay and them or you ain't no part of that industry shit. Uh, nah, that all of them is motivation to me. All that confirms me that, yo, you know, I've been new this anyway after a while. God had a different plan Come for me, Come on now. Bro. He had a hedge of protection around you. You know what I'm saying? 
You yeah. think it, he was he was protecting? Yo, he protect me. He put the right angels around me. He put everything around me to put me where I'm at today to understand that you know what, God, you're right because I I don't I don't see that I don't agree with none of that that goes on over there. So that it just it just meant for me to be doing something else. It's a trip how you when you think about it, even while Diddy was going through this stuff, his son came out with a diss song. That was wild. Like I couldn't. I, I was like, "What? Who over there telling him, man, go and put that out?" That's entertainment. You know what I'm yeah, like, like put that out. Yeah, let, yeah, what if that? I told this nigga like, it's a good time to put that out right now. Go on and push it. Push the button. Get that shit out. Man, like they, 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 you know, that's the industry. They try anything, bro. They try that. Then shit. the tape came out after the diss song. And now what? Yeah, you did. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna say. If you, you know, say no, Diddy, I'm, I'm, the, the I'm stepping to you. Came out, yo, I'm not. I'm not proud of my dad right now with this shit. I ain't know my dad was like that. He didn't know that tape was gonna come out. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. didn't know. Yeah, look how it went, and look at the date on the tape. Oh, it's 2016. Ain't that all? Oh, ain't that how the feds work? Ain't that how they work though? They watch. They've everything. been watching you for how long? They, my shit says they've been watching me for ten years, yo. They watch. And when they ready to make a move, they've been had that shit. They've been had it. That's how they build the case. That's how they call it, bro. It's the same shit, just different levels to this shit. That's real. So, um, for, as a person who has been incarcerated before, right? What do you think about the news that came out about Trump? That you know, he got them felonies. Thirty four. Well, yo, for real, like, what's the what's the big deal? Why are yeah, you spending this Do you this think money? he's gonna? I think that's the diversion. That, like, they needed it because he better get ready to be president. Yeah, they, that's all. They're just trying to mess with his presidency. Like, yo, America to today is like, yo, you don't know. Pay attention to what you watch. Pay attention to what you watch. Pay attention to what they're showing you. That's all I'm saying. Yo, Trump. They want to do that because he wanted to. He bought some pussy. If he did, who, who, who at this point, as American people in America, do we care if you know he got caught doing that? Should he be penalized for not being the president? Nah. But he committed fraud. They said that. It, it, okay, a lot that's of those another case. That's something different. But Clinton was in the office like this. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. Yeah. He didn't get all of that backlash. He got his scandal, his scandal in, his scandal out. They didn't try to take him down. You know what I'm saying? I pay attention. That's why the, the Diddy shit, I really don't have no answer for that because I don't really pay attention to none of that, bro. Wow. Because I think they set it up for us to be watching something else when they doing other things that, they, that we ain't trying to be. They know what they doing. Yeah. It's sad. They know what they're doing, man. And I try to tell, yo, I teach, you know, I, I'm an instructor. I teach guys that's incarcerated uh, how to get a job in um, construction, how to work in construction. And I tell them this. You know wow. what I'm saying? I tell them this about being focused and staying, you know, having a plan. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you go out watching just all of this, this you, be, you, 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 get, you get distracted. It's, it's, it's designed for you to get distracted, to take you off your focus. The free weed, the free marijuana, the this, all of this, it's designed for you to take your focus off of this. Wow. Wow. I, I got to ask you about Ty Ty. You knew Ty Ty. He from the round away. He grew up with us. How did Ty, because Ty Ty still tied with Jay. Did were they real close coming up or something? Bro, uh, I'm a nip this in the bud. I want Tata was in the right place at the right time. Next. Explain that. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what? <said> next. Explain <laughs> Yo, that. You with me? Uh, uh, you, uh, I introduced you to connect. Uh, Yo, know, we both need to connect the same time. That's it. Really? Yo, you at the right place at the right time, ain't you? Yeah. I'm. Mean, I'm just giving you an example. Example of but it. But Tata was in the right place at the right time. I can't tell you no sacrifices that Tata did to, for that to happen. Where Jay at? Nothing. I can't. I don't know. I can't tell you no sacrifices. How that. was Tata when he was young? Uh, I don't know. Tata wasn't around. He was us. younger than. Tata wasn't around us. I keep telling Where you. Where the hell did Tata come from? I'm try, I tell you, be in the right place at the right time. That's it. Where is he from? He from Marcy. He from he from where we at? Yeah. 
But he just was How in the much right place. He's younger than y'all, right? Nah, we all almost. Yeah, he a little younger than us, though. He a little younger. He a little younger. Yeah. But he was around. Not us. <laughs> he was around. And he wasn't around us back then. That's what I'm trying to tell you. you. Back then, he wasn't around us. Now, if you fast forward, he was at the right place at the right time. That's it. That's it. Now, I mean, niggas made off good behind me because they was just at the right place at the right time. Oh, you know him? Okay, he know you? Yeah, that's my man. Okay, you at the right place at the right time. That happens all day long. So Tata is in a lot of them songs, too. He love to say Tata. That's, no, he, yeah. He in the songs. Yeah. That's how I know him. That's how I know him in the songs. <laughs> he in the songs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's in them damn songs. So I think Jay lays the tracks and he puts his life out there to where everybody can see him through the track. Him and Beyonce both do that. You know that, right? That's one of their main things. Yeah. Alice. And then that's what I had Man. to tell you before I came over here. You know what's your son? Soon as I jump in my lift, my lift, right? You hit the button? The driver goes. What'd he say? Man, you the real De Haven. <laughs> what <I> said, the fuck? <laughs> Motherfucking Dallas, this is what I'm talking he said, about. You the real De Haven. Yeah, yo, bro. He said, yo, you the real De Haven? I was like, yeah, that man ain't stopped till we pulled to the door. So, yo, yo, man, I've been fucking with you from he day black. one. Yeah, black guy. So, y'all been fucking with you from he day was one. Smiling he the whole time he when from he Mississippi. Out, he, he said, I'm from Mississippi. I moved he to Dallas. Boss talk? Yeah. <laughs> he said, that nigga better be watching Boss Talk. I'm going talk. to do a podcast right now, Boss Talk. He said, Word. He said, I'm tuning into that. He's what it's called. He told me all that before he got in the car. <laughs> but the fact that it matter, I was like, he Dallas. Knew, he he was with like, you. yo, bro, I've been following that shit, you know what I'm saying, for a minute. Then he, he, yo, he had a lot of questions for that. <laughs> on your ass. I don't think he wanted to get out. He wanted to be, man. He was like, yo, for real. But a minute on he your was just like, Yo, man, out of how many rides he said? He said, I got 22,000 rides. I come on and hit it. And I got the Haven in my car now. I say, ain't this a bitch. That nigga happy. Yeah, he was happy, but I was happy to know that somebody Dallas, watching your story. Everybody they out here. I told you that, though. You know what I'm saying? You already know this. Dallas, shit. tap into my book, September, man. Tap into my book. Me, yo, we, we, I'm going to definitely give y'all more information on Boss, Boss Talk about this book. Driving in September. Y'all got to support this, man. Yo, um, you're going to be surprised, man. You're going to get the int intricate details of a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's not. And you know what I like about this project I'm working on now to, to finish this book is, <laughs> is that um, everybody been waiting on it. It's time. And um, what I just say? The anticipated on what they think they're gonna see is it, gonna be dope. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of people thinking about this is a hate book, I'm a tell all book type of situation, but it's basically just about my life, you know, how I dealt with this. Mm. The things that got me. How packed. big the book gonna be? How many pages? Yeah, I got you something to read. It's a motivational book. <laughs> I got you something to read, man. I just, that's why I want people to be like, yo, is it, what, you know, what kind of book is? If this don't motivate you, right, to 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 become a leader, because that's the mm. that's my goal right here. That's my purpose. I see what God got for me to lead, to be a leader in some pos whatever positive way that I'm gonna end up be doing. Right. But um, it's to show people like how. The game goes, how people could count you out, how people can be show the utmost disrespect for, to you, right, and your family, and you still maintain, uh, you know, and get through it, and come and still see a positive way in it, it's a positive outcome from this. Don't matter what, you know what I'm saying, and, and where forgiveness will get you. Mm. You know what I mean? And I think this will motivate them a lot. Is know? Emory in the book? Definitely. So that's because that was hurt and pain. You know what I'm saying? That was hurt and pain. The, the, you know what I mean? For your, for just the people that you you you, you uh, sacrificed the most for to turn. Because you tried to, to help Emory to understand his case to where he may have not even gone to jail. Oh no, nah, he was going. <laughs> they called him. They he called him. He just wasn't going that time. They would have They would have circled back around. He was going. <laughs> he was going. I thought you. You know, if he'd have fought it 
and you knew they didn't have you right. Right, yeah. But that was just, you know, he would, you know his lawyer would have probably told him, Wait, don't waste your time because they're going to come back and retry you. Yeah, because he was right on the money with yeah, it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And he that's, was right on the money. And that's crazy how I meant to tell you too, uh, even on uh, one of the songs, you see how he Emory Jones is on the, he calling Emory Jones on the phone from where he locked up. Which song is that? Uh, Do You Wanna Ride? That's Kingdom Come. Okay. Do you want to ride? Do you want to ride? You see how he shout Emory out, yo, you know, from the jail cell, this and that. None of that. I got none of that. That's that's the crazy part. But but then he did give you something. He was giving you the fact of you was more entangled with him <laughs> than, than, than Emory. Emory was not that. Emory was light light when it came down to his leg to his what he. What his scope was as a as a hustler, as a as this person he portrayed in these rap songs, you was more, you was you was who he was homing in on because of the hustle, right? But you know, I, and I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Emmy played a, a huge part in that success. He played a very huge part in that success. How? Because I feel that nothing. You ask me, Jay Short changed him. How? But, hey, if he happy, that's fine. I was, even if he, but he's part of the legacy, and he's 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 getting to be a part yeah, of that whole thing. So that's, how that, is he shortchanged? How is he shortchanged? You think about it. If you you look at his him being shortchanged, if he's shortchanged, you definitely you, shit. You ain't getting no change at all. You know what? Everybody uh, is different, I guess. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you, because that's something that me, um, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be in the shadows of Jay. You get what I'm saying? That may be why I you're wouldn't not have been with in him. the shadows of Jay. That's probably why you you're not there. Saying? Think about that. Yeah, what you saying, saying, nigga? You, you right? said <laughs> same thing. Go away. <laughs> he not and gonna I'm gonna let do. You. I'm gonna do that much time for you, and I'm gonna come back home, and I'm gonna be in your shadows. It's me personally. I'm not that guy. I'm not that character. Now you, but see, some people you just said is something. okay with that. You just said, "I go to jail for you." I don't know the case. <laughs> what the what the I'm hell just you just say? Like, Emory, how Emory, did Emory go to jail for Jay? Because you no, know, at the end of the day, he was on the streets doing his thing with Jay in mind. You see what I'm saying? Um, Jay could. I mean, Emory could have made bad situations. He could have made. He could have made it bad for Jay. But then again, he couldn't have because guess what? They ain't asked about Jay. And, and that's a problem. <laughs> but he could have brought Jay into the scenario. Yeah, yeah, you can't bring him into nothing if they don't want him. That's how they play. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? They want who they want. They, they don't want to hear nothing else. You know how they work. But, but do you think they... When you think about Jay... Do, and I got to ask you this. Do you think Jay... Why would they not ask about Jay? I, I ask you like that. Why would they not ask about Jay when Jay on the phones? Unless the phones you, tapped. You involved. The phones tapped. Everything's everybody unless knows. Unless you involved. Unless they got something. Unless that's you involved. Unless you involved. Because you say you wasn't on the phones. You had already broke away from it. Already broke away. But the conversations in the hood was still going still on. Still circulating. But you wasn't on those conversations. I wasn't on nothing. But then you get called the snitch. That's how they want to, you know, change the narrative. So you think that's a decoy? That's a decoy. That's a cold decoy. You read my post. If you ain't been on my Marcy May page, you see it. You ain't no cop, Jay Reed. <laughs> you ain't no cop. Yeah, he was. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, bro. At the end of the day, like I said, man, I'm only giving you facts. And the facts is, they had me under investigation for 11 years, 12 years, and me and you share a history of 9, 10 years, and you're not in this. Hey. Damn. 
somebody would be just like somebody that that that's on the outside that don't know nothing about this federal shit would be like, well, that's just what it is. Maybe he was smart. And somebody that know this shit gonna be here and say, nah, bro, that don't work like that. There was more to it. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. You hear? They, they, I told you they had me on investigation from '88 up. But yet, you can hear a reasonable doubt say we've been getting money since 88. So you around. You clarifying that you around, right? <laughs> wow, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But they don't want Wait you. Wait a minute. You telling me, really, the confirmation is out there. The the the, the confirmation, the information for all of this all stuff. All that is out there, man. On you the know, records. People just, you know what? People just don't want to see. I didn't want to know that it wasn't no crying, no Santa Claus when they told me. Like, What? You lying? Well, how was that? That's how they feel about Jay. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't want to believe that that can be an uh, issue. That can be true. That, Have that. anybody came at you like, man, you wrong for the way you doing Jay, bro? Me? The stories that you telling? Yeah, you. Like, yeah, like in the, in the comments, this niggas. Did you see the, my mama? On, did you see my mama? I seen your mom. All right, then. So I'm wrong? <laughs> Hold on, let's backtrack. I'm wrong? Nigga disrespect my earth, I'm wrong. On a song. And I can go through song after song after song of a nigga talking shit, reckless shit about me. Yo, like I said, man, how do you, how are you supposed to feel when you when somebody say, I don't, really, I don't give a fuck about you or your family? How are you supposed to feel? They show you this, they telling you this. They telling you this, that they don't give a fuck about you. How are you supposed to feel? Should you care? No, it's just it's it's dope that you got forgiveness in your heart. Have you responded like in music or anything like that? He don't rap. I don't rap. If I was rap, I'd be bigger than fifty. This be <laughs> this be the biggest job rule fifty. T this my shit would be way bigger than that. <laughs> he don't rap. If I rap, you know what I'm saying? But it's like even if you don't, it's like you'd be like, okay, I want to. Well, how do you respond feel? In something but like how do you that? feel yeah, to do, get do, beef I with do, a rapper? I, that I, I respond through this. Through YouTube, talk. that's right. right. But 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 the thing or through uh, Snap or whatever. But the thing is, how does it feel? To be rapped against when you're not a rapper. This is the question. Oh, uh, I feel like it's a it's an even I mean? no, it's an even feel now. We have the internet. Before I was getting it, yo. When I first early on, twenty years ago, when we was going through this, right? I, yeah, you. I'm, I'm like, damn. It's you know, I gotta take it on the chin. That you like, nah, you were like, nigga, I want to see that nigga. Exactly. Like, nigga, when yeah. I see that nigga, right. he going to answer me yeah. on why he making this shit. And you're not going to see them because they gone. They on another level. Right. You know, I'm not going to run into them dudes. But yeah, you be like, oh, no. But since the internet and then, you know, all of this shit now, new technology, new, uh, technology and shit, it gave us a platform. You know what I'm saying? That that this was the blessing. The podcast is this. This give us a voice. You think they like this shit? No. <laughs> you get, they hear you loud and clear on these. You, know what <laughs> you think they like this to go shit? crazy right here to they be trying honest to with find you. a way how to short uh, shut but balls you talk see? with a one down. Did you this. see? Are you scared? I don't give a damn. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Do you see when Faison come on here and he go crazy on Boss Talk for yeah. D. Haven and say, D. Haven, my guy. D. Yeah, Haven, my, my guy. guy. <laughs> okay, like, do you see when I say, because she asked a question like, Jay, how do you know Jay? Cause, and, and he goes in about D. Haven. You seen that one, yeah. right? Like, what do you think when you, when you basically see him going to bat like that? He, about I, the fact. Because yeah, he, he, he ain't the only one. No, no, him, I'm talking about like him. Him, yeah. Yo, I feel like, yo, he he real nigga. He ain't like, he not, don't get the comedy fucked up. You know what I'm saying? He, if, if, if I, if he didn't, if I didn't talk to him, he knew. Cause he fuck with, he know people on the street. He knew that before I talked to him before. What, what it was. I never sat, before he said all that, I never sat with Faison and said, yo, this is what it is. He, he knew through his people's what it is. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Real like that's what's wrong in these streets, man. There's a go down to who co-signed it who? Who's like, you know what I mean? I just finished like we just said, well, who was Dame? Like they if if I post that, if Jay if Jay if Jay wanted to be you, who was you? 
Because a lot of you niggas wouldn't be relevant without paying it full. Like we would never heard of y'all. And would y'all even be talking if Alpo was alive? Would you still be put talking? Because a lot of y'all niggas was on hus time when this nigga was running around the street. You know what I'm saying? So I'm only speaking facts. Who was you? Who could clarify this? What block? What trench? Where you was at? Oh, you talking about the 80s? Or, oh, okay, you talking about Big Pimp and up apart when y'all had the money. Okay, cool. Okay, Jay might have been talking about that. But don't, let's, let's, don't get it twisted. It wasn't the 80s. We ain't, we ain't seen none of y'all. Y'all rap niggas, be for real. Y'all wasn't getting the money like that back then. Man, that's wild. Boss talk. That was hard, though. That come that from us. That come from niggas. Niggas created this image. Niggas created that that paid in full. Us. Us. Y'all put the camera to this shit. We was already doing this shit. I already was living like, boss talk, I was living like a celebrity young. Like I tell you, before the drugs. Wow. Wow. I trip off the fact, man, that you, you seen when, when Jay mentioned... You you Faison end up getting mentioned in in, yeah, in the song. That's big <laughs> shit. That's what he, he you like, like oh boy. shit. They got my boy. What did you think we heard him say? Like like yeah. I got, when he said Faison on my own love. Yeah, Faison. I wouldn't on believe love. it yeah. either. Like what did you think when you heard that? That he first listening. Time? That cause people think he's not human. People think be like, ah, he's a fucking billionaire. He's not listening. He's listening. What you think he's not he's not human? You think he don't go to get in the bathroom, take a shit, and be like, let me see what Marcy Mead doing. <laughs> oh, he ain't doing he What? He said, oh, shit, I'm going to come back on this one. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's real. Oh, oh, he got me now. Oh, I got I to gotta get one for that one. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what he working on, but it's gonna be, he going to make money from it. You better believe that shit. Wow, because he don't never play. He ain't moving without the money. He ain't playing about that money. That's serious, man. I trip off of it because, like I said, Faison been on that for a minute. Like when I when I see him, all his interviews, especially mine, because it's epic the way he speak on it. On mine, it's on it, it's all just organic. Boom! Like yes, and, you see, and, and, I tell Faison, you go so hard that people think you hating, man. And you go in, man. I mean, they, they, he go so hard that people be like, "Yo, Faison, we know they know that you don't like him. They gonna start telling you." That you just hate, man. Give him a break. Give Jay a break, man. He don't he, give no break. He don't get no break. He have no chill for none of them. He don't, give none nobody of. Now, he don't no play break. with nobody. <laughs> none of these niggas get no break with him. <laughs> but that, we love Faze on, man. That's one thing about Boss Talk. I always tell him, nigga, it's a lot of love at Boss Talk 101. Matter of fact, I'm going to hit him up tomorrow and tell him, nigga, we had an epic interview, me and D. Avon last night. Damn sure did, bro. <laughs> Dallas. That's Dallas, D. Avon is in the I'm building, in the man. Building, Stop bro. playing, Wait till I come back for part two. Hey, it's going down, bro. Y'all. I'm gonna see the series, man. This is the first time in Dallas? First time in Dallas. No! Mm. Hell yeah. And I ain't leaving till I get some barbecue. What? Uh, I, I, I gotta get some kind of food, barbecue food. Right? Mm. Barbecue, barbecue. Need some barbecue. Yeah, yeah. I'm in yeah. Dallas, right? Um, it's everywhere. Yeah, I've been seeing videos of these black like black cowboys. I want to see real, 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 <laughs> real. Am I tripping? Or oh, I see black cowboys. I see them wear the pimp the hat and uh -huh. everything and shit. No, you should. My, my kinfolk that just left here, his yeah. first cousin, they, they get down. His uncle, they yeah. get down. Yeah, brother, they In get down. West Texas. No, yeah. but they, yeah. no, he got they a son here, here too, though. You remember the horses be at the park? Mm -hmm. So it can go down. Yeah, when they say it's about Dallas, I, I mean. You can get you a cowboy hat, is too. This, <laughs> Oh, that, yo, I would be honored to rock one of them two things. That'll be hard. You know That'll be yo, hard. Don't do that. Don't make me do that. <laughs> yeah, you need that. Don't make me do that. You need shit, to go man. back to New York. Don't you listen to no cowboy girl, no young lady from no damn Jamaica about wearing no hey, cowboy. Yeah, wait up. <laughs> Let me ask you: Would they be attracted to a guy with a cowboy hat if I'm in Dallas? I unless, or I have to be in a certain part of Dallas. Unless you going to the rodeo, man. Leave that hat at the house, baby. Oh shit! You man. got to be going to the rodeo, bro. You not gonna no, just be wearing no. No, listen to yo, me. You I see love a dude to see sell a black out a concert, man wearing man. all them girls, bro, all them niggas got. Bro, I like to see a black guy with your ball hat. If you are going to a concert, a, a, a don't country, play myself. Right? No, yeah. If you going to a country music concert, <laughs> yeah, you or really if you go. going to a trail ride, yeah. If you Whatever. going to a ro to where the horse is going to be at at the Mesquite Rodeo, yeah. Put your hat on. But if you running around here 
and you just chilling on the block like you been doing today, yeah. man. Stay fresh like you do in New York. You gonna kill these oh, niggas. I saw a guy and in make sure you don't uh, yeah, use that accent at your fullest <laughs> down here, nigga. They Yo, love listen. it down here. I yeah. saw a guy at a hotel last night um, wearing a cowboy hat. Where was he from? I don't know. I didn't ask him, but black? I, a black dude, yes. Well, he must be a real cowboy. See, it's a See, difference in an urban cowboy than a real cowboy. If you're a real cowboy, you can do that shit. But if you like you, and me and you ain't just running but around. But they not going to know. You from here. Though. I don't wear no damn hat unless I want to. have one. Never. He has two at home. But man. I don't wear them yet. I ain't never wore them hoes. But because but he's I not a real cowboy. Horses, but I ain't putting no damn hat on. Because he's not a real cowboy. No, you yeah, don't know. First of all, you don't know nothing about no damn real cowboy. He's not a real cowboy. Bro, I'm not a real cowboy. Yeah, I explained I was in the streets. I'm yeah. not no but, damn yeah, cowboy. Yeah, I get what you said. You ain't no damn real yeah, cowboy. I'm not. But, so I you from, I'm but you can't do that shit. I'm not from Texas. I'm from New York. I ain't wear a Yankee. I ain't wear a Yankee. See? You wearing that Yankee, yeah, though? Yeah, I wear Yankee, but though. But at the end if you're in Texas, I'm going to wear the hat with the T on it. Or, oh, you know, or the trio top. Okay, okay, or, okay, or the trio okay, hat. Nigga, it's plenty of them. We I got, got trio hats that UGK, shout out to UGK, Bum B, uh, RIP PMC. Like, it's hats that we represent our hood just like y'all. Mavericks winning right now. Oh, wait a minute. We you grab that Mavericks hat it. right now. But, nobody, but, 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 but if he wore a cowboy hat right now, right? Nobody's gonna know if he's a real cowboy or not until they come up to you and they, but why they, it's would a conversation you do that? starter. It's a conversation starter. They're gonna come up I, to try to figure it out. No, nah, no, nah, my I, boy ain't gonna I, do that. Do he he ain't that. even ain't doing that. You're not doing it. Yo, he not doing hold that. Hold on though. I never I said I wouldn't forget about Slim Thug, J Dog, where's that? Slim nigga? Thug. J Dog, J Dog, the young hog, he be in a concert somewhere right now. I promise <laughs> yo, you. J hey, Dog, yo, the man, young shout hog. Shout out Dallas. Shout out J Dog and uh, what's his uh, Ray you Face. Call him? Ray yeah. Face, Slim Thug. You know what I'm saying? I had a nice little counter with them years, years back when I came home from jail, man. So shout out to them, Let's man. Let's see if he even answers. I wake his ass up. He up somewhere partying or either throwing a party or either he, or either he ain't had none tonight. You tell them I was in the, I was in Dallas, nigga, and I asked about them niggas. I'm down. They gonna hear this. They watch this shit, yes. man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He he. Probably and when I come back, right? When I come back with we with going the to Houston situation, right? Uh, no, I no, no. We going to push no, We going to Houston. Oh yeah, that's what they had that's on that side. We going to Houston. Oh, yeah, hell away. yeah. I was just up there. Please uh, make your message. I was just in Houston. Uh, I I interviewed Sean Paul in Houston. How far is that? Three hours. Oh damn! Nah, that's all right. Like we no, from New York. nigga, we jumping that Escalade, one of them trucks, nigga. That shit ain't nothing, right? Nigga, we going down that road. We having a good time. You you gonna say, hey, you gonna sit back and just chill, and next thing you know, you gonna be pulling in that city. You know what I'm saying? Right. Same way you be jumping when you go to Maryland or when you go to oh, DC. Yeah, DC, that's, DC, that's, it. that's DC. the same thing. Remember we went to DC hours, from New York. Five hours, that's yeah, city, yeah. New, DC was not no four hours. It's, four, it's five, four, four and a half hours. Yeah, we drove that like nothing, didn't yeah, we? That's nothing. Yeah, we drove that. You know, I flew into D.C. and yeah. drove to New York, so that's the same game, man. So how can people get a hold of you, D.A.? Oh, man, man listen, Dallas, show he me some love. He done put them shades back. It's going down. Show Texas. me some love. See, that's D.A. right saying. there. Balls Talk 101. Stop I always playing. wanted to come here, my, I swear. I'm glad. And I ain't give you shit when part. There's going to be another part, we boss. Coming to, and I'm coming to New York again, too. We're going to play games with we, I ain't get to talk about Boston. I really, you know, Balls Talk is about, yeah, Boss talk the shit Go that I was doing. Yeah, it. that's hard. He, the he shit know that about I was boss. doing in nah, these streets. How he was flipping. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That I ain't talking about how I'm, I'm, I've been in this industry for a long time. I've been a celebrity for a long time, underground and shit, living this that's life. Real. And, and, and it ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed about me, my character, who I am, how I stay am. Stay true. Man, I've been true to this shit. That shit got me to Dallas. But the crazy part about it, <laughs> see how you say that? I've been true. Then when I asked him, I'd be like, man, uh, what's up with Jay? You, you know, the way he, that ain't the Jay I know. Back to Jay, I know. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Think about what he's saying. He's saying, I stay true, I stay true. I said, well, you know, what about Jay like the Jay? He, for him to be in it, that ain't the Jay I know. That ain't him, man. That, was- <laughs> that nigga that talk all that shit like that, son, that's... That's um, that's something he have to do, man. That's not him. So he wasn't talking all of that whenever he y'all could talk was that, together. Yeah, you know what? He could do that because he was that nice with the music. 
But when it came to a situation in the streets, nah. I think you you you, you understand what I'm saying that's me that's me who got shot that's me who put got the guns put in my head me shootouts behind him behind him behind him what did he do oh man man it's not nah I just didn't let niggas just try to handle my oh, man oh nigga like was that. trying to come get him like, yeah talk you know what I'm saying to him every now you now you're not gonna rob my little brother you know what how bro. many times did you stop him from getting oh, robbed oh man let's be real I'm gonna get, give me that before you get off how here how many times a little brother could get in trouble. Every time nigga try to rob, <laughs> nigga like, I'm going to get that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Every time you turn your head, it was something, you know what I'm saying? But I just you know niggas knew what it was. So it's almost like, you know, little brothers always feel like they're in big brother's shadow growing up. Right. So do you feel like he felt like he was always in your shadow when he was a young kid? Uh, okay. That's why that girl said when it was that. time to, to bloom, ain't nothing wrong with that. It's time for me to take care, take care, I take care of big bro now. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with you to take the lead. We do that all the time. I'm doing that now with me and my brother. Like, my brother, like, all right, man. I, I got to teach him. You know what I'm saying? So ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Thank you for coming on the show, man. Man, Boss Talk. You boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk, man. Listen, man. Make sure you got to like and subscribe to the channel, man. D. Haven. Marcy May. Listen, Marcy May. Make sure you got to be ready for the book is coming. Yes, that Listen. book is coming September, he said. Yo. Listen, man. I think he said August. No, yeah. he's uh, well, it's August, but September to drop, man. We drop. Yeah, I was about to say September to Check drop. Check out this next clip, man, coming by D Haven, man. You don't want to miss you it, man. Miss this, it's about man. to go down. Get up on my page, man. Like I said, yo, those who gonna support me, especially Dallas, man, I'm fucking with y'all. If y'all fucking with me, this is how you can show your support. Um, I'm gonna have a, my page will be up next week, man. Give me a week to put it up. As far as the book, if you pre-sell this book, man, this is gonna help out a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to start shooting. These stories, I want to start showing you the visual. I got the script. I got the actors. I just want to do my own funding. As y'all see, uh, you see the industry not fucking with me. No. The story here, ain't it? The story it's don't. Big. We're talking some Netflix big shit, right? Yeah, We're yeah. Bigger than BMF. Bigger than uh, all the rest of these bigger shit, than. right? And, and the industry is not fucking with me. The only people that's messing with me is the streets. You know what I'm saying? Is this audience? Is 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 all of these all you people that support me? So you know what I'm saying. Tune in. Go to Marcy Made uh, series, man. Definitely hit that uh, follow button next week, man. If you pre like I said, you pre sell this book. It's a great help. It's a great opportunity. And I come and sign them when this drips out. I'll be we'll back sign right here. We're we'll bringing right, right here. back here. We're gonna sign them, man. And uh, it's gonna be all love, man. And we'll Thanks. go around. We can go around and get just do but, this everywhere. Let me ask you a question though. But if you're doing like the documentary or um, episode series, series right and your life and Jay life coincide, but in order for you to put him in the series, do you have to get his permission? He didn't get his permission. Shit! When did he get your permission? Oh, that's oh he pretending to be Jay that he could sue me. Did you get his permission? I'm asking you. Did you? I don't see no no rights. I mean, this is my life story. I'm asking you a question. But put him in it. I ain't gotta say this is Sean Card. I'm not, you know. No, I'm asking you. When he said the Haven, did he call you and ask you? Didn't he call me my name now? But you know, <laughs> but, but I know how they gonna act. Right, I know how right. they gonna act. You know but, what I'm saying? But then if you put him in the in it, you're not gonna call it, hey, what's up, Jay? Like nah, in the series, you gonna call him something else? First of all, by the time you see that, you're gonna know who's what, what's what, and what's what by seeing the story. If, if you see my story and you see this guy as my best friend growing up, you're gonna be like, okay, that's that's who Kinda he's like supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's who he's gonna be. Like, yeah, sort of like that. So you know what I mean? They gonna know who it is. I ain't gotta give the name out like that. But okay, this this is not Jay. No, this one is BJ. You know what I'm saying? And you know we gonna run it like that. Got you know it. What I'm that's but what I was wondering. It's gonna be dope. Like the script is already rocking, wrote already. Just trying to get this funding, and this is where the funding gonna come from. This is how I've been doing what I've been doing by the support of the people that be following me, that purchase. Oh, 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 Marcy made that the Silent Kings coming back. All of my stuff is coming back. I'm about to do that on um on a merchandise. Mm -hmm. The Silent Kings is dope, man. You want to follow that too? Um, that's my brand. Uh, everybody got a Silent King, man. Silent King. Silent Kings. Everybody Silent got Kings. one. Okay. You know what I mean? I, that's for the people that's gone, that's responsible for me even being here. Right. 
Like what? I said, my Uncle Buzz was part of the Rock Boys. If you say if it was the Rock Boys, you're not here. It's a silent king that Jay ain't never mentioned him at near record. And this dude been there from day one. You get what I'm saying? That's so real. I like to support the silent kings that's been behind my movement, that have been a part of me for all my life. So, and like I said, we all got one of them in our in our history and stuff of Sonic King. So, hey, yeah, man, you did it again, man. man I appreciate y'all. Man, man, this man rocked out man. hardcore at Boss Talk 101, man. And it's going to keep happening, bro. I can't wait, man. I can't wait to see how this thing unfold, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Oh, yeah.